guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are thinking that you have already seen this video or something like this, then don't think that because this is a different video. Uh, I am wearing the same makeup and clothes because I just finished uh, filming another video in which I am showing how to create this look which I am wearing right now in just 5 minutes. This video is going to be about my March favorites, which products I have used the most in March and I have loved absolutely. So I just want to jump into my favorites and start. I'll be going in a particular order like how we do our makeup primers first then concealer then foundation blah 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 in that way. So let's get started. Of course the first category is primers. This season I'm a huge fan of Benefit I guess because I have been loving Benefit products a lot. Um, this is an amazing primer from Benefit. This is the That Girl Primer. It's a very nice brightening primer. The best part about it is that if you don't want to wear it as a primer, it's okay. You can just, you know, do your whole uh, face, do your whole makeup and then take a little bit of it and dab it wherever you want your face to really come out and shine. And it will give a very, very nice glow to your face. It Plus this has this amazing cap which you can place once you are done using the product so the product won't dry out and it's very hygienic too so I really really like it. This primer is an all rounder. It brightens up your face. It does not really minimize your pores but uh, instantly your face looks really smoother and nicer so I really like that. The next primer which I have been using a lot because I have a lot of pores is this one. It's from Body Shop. It's the Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. It does really minimizes my pores dramatically. Um, I think I am liking this as much as my Benefit Pore Professional Primer. If you, if I have mentioned it, I think I have. The next category is concealers and concealing your dark circles and whatever. And I have already mentioned that I don't have like a very crazy routine of concealing my eyes or under eye dark circles. So I'm still using that MAC Orange Corrector which I used to and my Fit Me uh, Concealer in the shade uh, Sand Sable. I still use these. Um, a few days back I went to MAC and uh, I actually saw this amazing thing where they have two ends. One side is like a very nice liquidy kind of orange corrector or peach corrector or green corrector and the other side is you know a matching concealer. So I really like that because that was like a two in one product and it was easier. You don't have to carry two products if you are traveling. So I will actually buy that and get back to you with how good it is. During this time of the year, India has crazy weather. So you really don't want that very weird, you know, layer of makeup on your face and your face feels suffocated and bad and when you are sweating, it does not, it just makes the whole experience worse. So past this month, I have been really into BB creams and CC creams. I have been a lot into the Benefit Big Easy BB Cream. It is a very, very nice BB cream which gives you a very nice powdery finish so actually it's a very very nice product where you get a BB cream which is concealing and covering up all your imperfections plus it is giving you a powdery effect so you don't really have to you know worrying about your face oiling up or caking up or anything like that. Another one which I've been using a lot is this MAC uh, Lightful C Tinted Cream. It's so damn cool. I mean a touch of it and your imperfections will actually just Disappear. It's a very very nice product for that. Another BB cream which I have been using a lot is this Tea Tree Flawless BB Cream. It is from Body Shop. And both of these products together, that is the pore minimizer and the BB cream are like a miracle. If you are someone who has a lot of scars or blemishes or pimple scars or anything like that, this is an amazing product. Next category is setting powder or pressed powders. I think I'm in love with the Selection Pressed Powder from MAC. I'm in shade MC30. It's an amazing, amazing translucent powder. It actually sets your foundation like a dream. It is very, very nice. Um, it's very fine milled and it actually, you know, makes your skin feel a lot more smoother and nice and oil free, of course. And it's very nice for touch-ups and everything like that. Again, for my brows, you know that I don't really have a crazy brow routine, so I still use my L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Genius Kit in, I think, medium brown or just medium. Uh, I'll leave the shade down below. Now, one of my new additions, this is actually a new purchase. So, I went to Sephora a few days back when I was in Mumbai and I got a lot of products and I had a big hole in my pocket but then whatever I was happy so all of these NYX products which I'm going to mention now or which I have been mentioning in my videos or anything like that are from Sephora and I have got them from Sephora and this
This is the Super Skinny Marker from NYX. This is amazing. It has this very nice skinny felt tip which is really easy to maneuver and you can, you know, achieve that very nice cat eye look or winged look very easily. It does not smudge easily. It stays on quite for long. The most time it has gone without smudging is probably like eight and a half, nine hours, which is quite good. For shadows, I think past this month, I don't know, it's because of the sunny weather or what, I have been using these very nice warm shades from this Estee Lauder palette a lot. This is the Soft Neutrals palette. It has very nice warm toned colors. I have already used this brown color in one of my tutorials right now. So they are highly pigmented. They are really very nice and they are really very pretty to look at. They blend very nicely and they stay on for long. My next product is this amazing blush from NYX again. This is the NYX powder blush. This is in the shade um, Red Rouge. The pigmentation of this one is amazing. It's crazy and it's such a pretty color it looks so pretty on me i think it will look pretty on so many people it does not shed easily um, i think i have the blush i don't know if the camera is catching it or not but i have had the blush on for like four hours now and i think it's amazing i am really really loving it i forgot to mention the eye products in the previous uh, february favorites and I did it today too. I don't know why. I love this kajal. It is from Rimmel. It is the shade um, 031 Jungle Green. It is a very, very pretty color. It is a very, very pretty color. This is what actually I am wearing on my lower lash today. And it is amazing. You can actually create a very nice smoky eye with this one. And I really like it. So that actually completes the eye category. So now I can go to uh, highlighting. I haven't been using a lot of highlighters because let's face it, it's India and it's summers. You are going to be naturally dewy no matter what, no matter how much you try. So still, I mean, um, since I already said and I mentioned that uh, this That Girl uh, primer can be used as a very nice highlighter too if you are into it and um, if you are not really so much into specks of glitter on your face, you can actually go for this one. It's a very nice highlighter. But if you don't mind a little bit of glitter on yourself, then this one from MAC is a very nice one. This is from the Mineralize Finish and it is in the shade Soft and Gentle. I think we have reached our last category and that is lips. So for lip products, I think we'll have to spend a lot of time over here. I have been using a lot of them. But mostly they are mauve and nude colors and subtle colors. So a few which I really love from MAC are... This are Speak Louder. It is in creme sheen finish. It's a very, very beautiful pink color. It is a very straightforward pink color. I think I have already talked about this in uh, my MAC lipstick swatch video. I'll list that down below. It's a very, very pretty color. The next one which I have been using a lot, especially for my day outings, is this Please Me. I think this is matte finish. It's a very, very nice um, earthy pink color. It's basically a pink nude. So it's like a dirty pink nude. I don't wear this color alone because this color can actually make me look a bit washed out. So I actually team it up with this um, lip pencil. It is a prolonged wear lip pencil in the shade In Anticipation. And this shade is a very nice dirty pinkish kind of a shade. So let me just swatch it for you guys. I have mentioned this in my uh, MAC lip swatch again. So you can go and check it out if you want to know the details of it. And Another one which I have been using a lot again which I think I have mentioned in my February favorites also and I am mentioning it here again. It is this L'Oreal lipstick. I again forgot the name of it so I will leave it down below. I have got another shade which is almost as similar to this one. It is the Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm. It is in the shade um, 225 Sultry. This is Montane Brick and this is Revlon. This is more grayish kind of undertone and this has more reddish and peachy kind of an undertone so they both are probably a bit different on my lips than they are in tubes and in hand swatches but then they both look and they make me look so nice so i really love them i have been using this color burst a lot because even this has this nice soothing cooling effect on your lips so the moment you put it on you feel you have put like some ice or something on your lips and it starts feeling so nice and i think it really um it really helps my chapped lips a lot so my lips don't get more chapped like it does when i put uh, mac matte once 
so with this we come to the end of this video i have been really liking them a lot this past whole month and they have performed really really very well all the benefit products and the next products which i have mentioned are from sephora so if you're wondering in that case so just visit the sephora site um go have a look at these products if you want this is an amazing amazing primer and a highlighter too so i think it's actually worth a buy so basically the point of getting and bringing this video to you all is to let you guys know what is good in market and what you guys can actually go forward and splurge on and buy that's why i bring i bring these kinds of videos because i understand that once you buy a product and it does not actually perform to your expectation it can be really dissatisfying and you just you know don't want to go to that brand again and buy anything else so that can be misleading so that's why i bring these videos where i am constantly trying new products and i'm trying them again and again so that you guys can understand what is good and what is not so i can give you a very nice and fair review about all the products so i hope this video was helpful for you guys i hope you guys liked it if you did do give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye